Okay, so here I just want to give you an overview of just simple filters. I mean, we've, we've done a, we've done a few, so um, it shouldn't be too difficult for us to 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 pick this up here. So I'm just gonna just tidy a few things up here, and you'll see here also just a, a, as a side note that I'm 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 doing a lot of these demos in tables. That is for a very good reason. And I, 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 like I said it a little bit earlier as well, but I'll just repeat it. It's so much easier to understand how formulas work when you see the numbers, just from experience, okay? So so really, really consider that, and, and I highly recommend doing that. Sometimes just, just trying to work out what's going on with DAX by looking at visuals can be confusing. Okay, so simple filters. This is what we sort of touched upon here, where you don't actually have to add sort of like an actual filter function which is a which is a specific function to um, receive a result here okay and so what happens is that the inside of calculate the formula can already pick up um, what sort of table you're referencing because of the relationships that you have within your model if the relationships are set up and they know that okay well this is a one to many, one to many, and it, know, it just knows to reach back and look at that specific table based on the um, based on the column that you write. That's how they've created the sort of calculation engine. They've, they've allowed it to understand it like that for simple things. Okay, so another example we might um, create here is um, sort of sales in 2019, something like that. Okay, and we can go calculate um, total sales. And then we can say, okay, well, let's just go have, at the, have a look at the year of 2019. And I'll just see if that works. It might be text. It might be a text value. So I'll just have to double check that. Let's have a look. No, it's probably a text because it's a text value, which is, all, which is fine. It can be. You just got to recognize um, that it is. And so you see here that this is now the sales for 2019. I'll just format it. And so now we're... We're again putting a simple filter on the on the back of calculate that, to go and calculate something up. So where this can sort of run into trouble a little bit, and where and where it is in terms in my view, best practice is to always write sort of filter, which will filter like this, um, which we'll go over in a second. It can you can run into a bit of trouble, and I'm going to show I'm going to show you an example of of where you do and why I always generally utilize um, a filter function to do these simple filters okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um and, and it's all to do with the, the the context in which you place these these simple filters in okay so that's where it can get a little bit tricky so let's just run through an example here so um, maybe i want to say i want to calculate up sales of sales of product say 100 okay so maybe i only want to look at sales of one product right okay so I'm going to go to calculate total sales and then I'm going to go product so I'm going to go find my product name column and then I'm going to go equals to product 100 okay and then I'm going to push enter okay then I'm going to drag this in and have a look at what results we get right what has happened because of the initial context is that it thinks that every single row here well it's counting up the sales for product 100 but it's putting it in every single row that's the problem okay and that's because of the initial context of this calculation so if we see here product 100 so the 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 product name column from the product table is in our is, is in our context is in our table so um what's happened is that calculate doesn't know it can't differentiate because of that based on this um, fil simple filter that you have entered in into the calculate function okay and so to fix this to fix this you want to go filter products right like that you want to go filter products like that okay and then if I go enter you know it will, it will return back to normal and I'll get 403 just for product 100 
Now the tricky thing here though is that you'll get different results based on the different context that you have in your result. So if say if I put my customer name up there, if I then say change this back, let me let me where is it here? Say I change this back within this particular context, right? So this one will play up, but if I place it in here, it returns it as per normal. So it's all to do with the context. But this is why I always default to, to this, because if I go like this, it will work for both, okay? It will return what I want for both. Okay, so it still returns that row there and um, it returns it in there. So to avoid confusion, and I, m maybe some of you have already started using those simple filters, I like as a best practice to put filter products in there unless there is a very rare occurrence where having those numbers all the same down that one um, you know in your table or for some visit visualization you know you want it like that okay but generally you know generally you know you're 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 better off doing it this way okay so that's what I wanted to cover there um, you know it's a good uh, good little um, you know topic to just confirm our, our thoughts around you know context in general and how then calculate fits into that um, next we're just going to cover some table functions and how and how they um, work within power bi you know we've gone over a couple today or, or not today sorry in this particular course um, we've gone over filter here uh, which is which is a, a table function there's also all i think we touched on um, prior um, and we're going to go over a few other table functions and how and why and when you might use them in, inside of um, power bi with dax Okay, let's jump into that.